okay, it's time to show off our sea salt spray. Um, so many consultants and customers really love this spray. Um, and so it gives you beach wavy hair. Um, this has some great ingredients. Uh, the, well, the first one's water, then we have aloe vera gel, plant derived, um, flower extract, sunflower oil, plant extracts, radish root ferment, um, Epsom salt, dead sea salt, coconut oil, and yeah, that's it. And it's got a lot of organic ones. Um, if you want the whole list of this, um, if you want to see it word for word, like down to the specifics, because some of them, they just have like two names, um, let me know and I'll send it to you. Um, but because of the sea salt and the Epsom salt, it, that gives it like your definition and volume. Um, my hair is day three um, and I've actually played volleyball. <laughs> Um, so my hair is doing pretty good. Um, and then it smells like juicy pineapple um, and coconuts. So we're gonna try this on this side over here. So you wanna give it a really good shake. Um, lots of our natural products, they, uh, the stuff will settle at the top or vice versa. It'll be settled at the bottom and you wanna get it all mixed up so you can get the good stuff. And you know, is, you can style this however you want. Um, you can spray your hair and then curl it. Um, so I'm gonna show that on this side. Um, or, you know, you can just spray it like this um, and go with it. It just gives it a weird, not weird, but a good like volume definition. God, that smells so good. Um, and you can spray as much or as little as you want. My hair is super straight, so I need a lot. Other people's hair that, do, that already has that, um, already has a little bit of volume and wave to it. It'll just enhance what you already have. Um, so there's one side and that's like just sort of, you know, I'm looking <laughs> in my phone so it's so hard to do. Okay, so there's that side. Um, so what I'm going to do is curl this side and then spray it um, and mine stays a lot better but this is sort of like a time crunch thing like you just want to spray your hair and go it's re it's really good for that especially if you have like I mean right now my hair's kind of dirty um not messy but it's just not like perfectly straight and all the same kind of ways so um doing that helps a lot so um we're gonna curl this side all right you can either curl it ahead of time and then spray it or um, when I was a kid, my mom, she used to hairspray the whole strand and then, and she's, I'm sure she still does, um, and then curl it. So I'm gonna do this piece that way. Um, plus it kind of will dry um, more as, it's hard to see my hair so long now. Um, or it will, it'll kind of dry as you're curling it. Um, so it'll stay more that way too. Um, totally up to you. So, yeah, I mean, and, and especially since our hairspray is out of stock right now, this is such a good option. Um, so this piece has it on there. And then I can curl this and run my hands through and get it to be wavy so this side I mean I still like it it's just like a natural soft wave on my hair I mean because my hair is really straight um and I do love to curl my hair a lot um and when I say a lot I mean like I'll curl my hair and that will be good for like until four or five days later until I wash my hair so not that it's always curly but I don't curl my hair every day because you know that heat on your hair is not good so now I'm put a lot because my hair needs it. <laughs> and then scrunch it up. And you're gonna have lots of more like volume and waviness on this side because, I mean, because I curled it. So it depends on your time that you might have. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, you could just um, spray this side and scrunch it. And then you've got something else. You've, pre you've prettied up your hair, buffed up your hair. Um, or if you got a little more, more time, and you can curl it and then you're ready to be like, hey, I'm ready for the beach. Who's ready for the beach? Uh, this teacher is totally ready <laughs> for the beach. Um, we're going to Fripp Island this year. 
So for an entry to the mystery host, um, where, when is the next time you're going on vacation and where are you going? Or when, when and where would you like to go if you haven't planned it yet? Thank you.